Hey everyone, right here is another video. Today we're going to be doing like a rainbowy um, set using glitters, um, well acrylics from Glitter Bells and I'm going to be using decals as well. These are Queen of Decals decals, they were created by them and are sold from Glitter Arty. Now the great thing about these are that 100% of sales are going to the British NHS. So those frontline guys who are saving our asses during this horrible freaking bat bug outbreak, um, those guys are going out there and doing their bit. So this is our way of saying thank you and raising some pennies. So yeah, 100% are going to the NHS. Um, whilst we're on the COVID, how is everybody? Everyone okay? Coping? Dealing with it all? I'm kind of used to it now. I'm just like, this is just life. This is what we do. I look like Kevin from Kevin and Perry. You're like, oh, Mr. Person. <laughs> yeah, that's what I look like. Absolute crash of a mess. Absolute mess. Um, I've started baking, which is not good. Um, Alan, my Slim and Well guy, he will be just tamping because my ass is going to get bigger. Right, here we go. We're going to be doing some colour block as well on the two of these nails. We're going to be doing colour block. Now, when you're using coloured powders for colour blocking, they're not designed for this. They are designed to be worked super wet, super thin and treated like paint. They, they're made for that. So the best thing to do is when you're using coloured powders for doing colour blocking is drain the back of your brush. Drain the life out of this bead. You don't need much liquid. You need it to hold its shape. And definitely with colour powders, you need it a lot drier. Otherwise, you just keep pushing that wall up, pushing the wall up, pushing the wall up and watching it slop away. Pretty much like most of my bacon at the moment because I ain't that great. Um, oh, hang on. I've got an itch. Um, so yep, we're just going to go up and make walls, push against it. Right, do you want my honest opinion? Right, anybody feel that they've lost their mojo? Because I was doing this set and it wasn't at this stage, it was in a minute when I start adding the blue that I thought, I've picked all the wrong fucking colours here. I've picked all the wrong colours. This doesn't go. They're not pastel. Who am I? What am I? Urgh, I was so angry. And I just lost the love of it. Um, and I just feel and felt that I don't even know how to do nails. Who am I? So anybody who feels that they've lost their nail mojo during this lockdown, don't worry. I think we're all in the same position. Um, so I just went with it because... Well I, well, I committed. I'd already sat down for so bloody long and I thought, well, that's it now. I've got, I've got to go along with it. So I just kept going and to be honest, I quite like, I quite like the outcome. I hated, hated, hated the colours that I'd used. I completely fucked up. Um, but at the end, you're going to see, I'm going to sugar glitter over these two colour block rainbows and it just softens down the, the colours so if you ever do make a fuck up just just wing it I've told loads of people that if you see glitter all over my sets of nails I've usually made a fuck up and these two fingers are completely made a fuck up so covered it in glitter polished a turd what can I say I did what I had to do
Okay, with these um, ombre, this like the rainbow ombre, I'm using the, um, the jelly powders. I think it's like pink jelly, blue jelly, moon jelly, something like that from Glitter Bells. I will list it all in the description. And I'm working it really, really, really wet, okay? Um, hardly draining the liquid out of my brush, super duper wet. Um, I wanted them just as little subtle um, colour because I'm going to put rainbow decals over them. So we're going to go in with sugared almond from the cuticle and just pulling it down because I'm going to do another rainbow from the free edge. Now, I haven't filmed all of this because the video is going to be about four hours long. So I've started it and then I got rid of it. But if you watch that ring finger, you'll get the idea. We're making a wall, we're tidying up the brush, pushing the next colour up against the wall, making a wall, tidying it up and so on. So here we go with the decals. So these ones have been created so that you don't have to put them on a white base, okay? The clouds and that are created white, but they're also clear around it. So you don't need a white base with this. Um, make sure that you've got some water to hand because what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut your decal out and you're gonna submerge it in the water for a little, little while and then gently slide it off and onto the nail. Now it says that you can just slide it off and onto the nail, boom, done. Can you fuckery? I cannot get them to like stick at all. So if I'm using it on a natural nail, what I'll do is um, stick it onto, what do I do? What do I do with gel polish? I think I stick it onto uncured and then cure it so it doesn't bloody move because they're awful things. So with these, what I do is I lay a little squidge of wet clear acrylic, only a tiny bit, just to hold it into place. Otherwise, they slide around that bloody bilio and then you go to encapsulate and they've slid straight off, off your brush, boom, gone. So I just put a little blob of clear acrylic. Um, yeah, so I just moved these around, picked a few and popped them onto these nails now. Yeah, it was probably at this point I just thought, this is a fucking mess. I'd really hated it, but it definitely does work at the end of it. So stay with it, keep watching, and we'll talk you through the sugar in it in a second.
okay we're just filing that rainbow just tidying it up removing any excess if i've gone over the lines um and then we're going to go in and i'm gonna do like a smushy soft rain i don't know I don't know what I did really. I did a mixture of colours above this rain. To be honest, I'd lost the will to live at this point. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll talk about the sugar in in a minute. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for subscribing. If you don't already, please would you? Thanks. I don't really know how to get my channel out there more. I know I need to get some more videos. But if you see an option to share it or you could tell a friend, please help a girl out. I would really, really love that. Um... So, yeah, if you can, then that would be really, really lovely. Um, but thank you. Thank you for always watching um, and subscribing and commenting. It's really, really lovely of you all. Um, and I'm going to try and get more videos to you all because I am not doing much else but baking and um, try not to hurt my children. <laughs> Lies, honestly, don't report me. I like them a little bit. I have favourites from day to day. Today I don't like either of them. I like today I like the dog. Um, did you hear them before? Just fucking like scrapping. That's my life. I've got to teach them as well. I'm now a teacher. I have to teach them stuff. I'm not very good at that either. Not one GCSE. Thick as shit I am. Oh, someone's at the door. Hang on. Right, let's sugar these beauties. Now, a lot of people put in, put a gel polish finish and sprinkle their glitter into that gel polish and cure it. That's absolutely fine. But I kind of discovered this one by mistake once. So I filed, I've finished this nail. It is not got a gel polish on. What I've done there is I wiped it, uh, well, I painted it with the Kiara Sky Dip Base Glue. It's the resin that comes with the dipping system. It's the blue bottle. So I just wipe it over the nail and I just sprinkle my glitter on and leave it. This just air dries. It doesn't have to be cured. It just air dry, tap it off, dust it off. And I will file the free edges of the, just so it's lovely and sharp. And that literally is it. I'll polish the other two nails. Cure, done. Bing, bang, boom, done. Okay, thanks guys. I hope you loved it. Um, I love you all. Speak again soon. Bye.